Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for bestebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to follow up with the other video that we did. As you know, the Kindle Fire that we had just died on us for no reason. And I have a suspicion what could be wrong. It could be the battery. It could be maybe something just died in it. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe it's fried. Or maybe it's just a connector. So in order to figure out what's going on and if you are brave enough to open your Kindle Fire, it's not that hard to do. You are going to need to write tools. I personally, because I'm I'm lousy in repairs and I don't really intend to actually fix this Kindle Fire, it served its purpose for our reviews and there's no reason for me to continue testing this and showing videos of Kindle Fire when there is a new generation available. It's, it, it'd be nice if it actually worked. And, or maybe we could just sell it, but uh, that's not something we do in our business, so it doesn't really matter. I personally actually use a simple tool like this. You should not use something like this because it's metal and it can damage your Kindle Fire. And I, do, I, I have damaged it a little bit because I was using, I was anchoring it to open up the back plates. You should use the, um, if you go to ifixit.com and they have teardowns for all devices, you should use the plastic tools and the guitar pick that they have. You can buy those, I think, for about ten, five, ten dollars from Amazon. And uh, the neat part about that is you can actually open your Kindle Fire without damaging the the body. But once you do that, it's pretty simple. Once you, you once you take care of this part and one part and you open it, you are going to be able to just take it off easily, step by step. And this is the battery. So what I did at first, I was testing it to see what area could be the problem. One of, one of the things that I've done in the past and I've had success with is when you disconnect the battery and connect it back, sometimes the devices come to life. It wasn't the case here. You can remove the battery. You do have to take care of the, you see this white area here? I don't know if you can see it. So you should remove this. You can use the tools. Usually when you buy these tools, they come they have like four or five pieces and a couple of them are for removing these connectors and it, it's easy to do so this is the battery pretty much my suspicion is that the battery is probably dead and there's something wrong with the connector i think it's a combination of both i haven't played around with it long enough to say you can also see the parts here So if you are a student of the game, you can just go and play around. Let's say I want to remove the battery. Again, you probably shouldn't use your fingers because you're going to damage if you want to actually get this to work and use it as the tablet that works, you probably want to be as careful as possible. I don't, so I just don't mind if I trash this, but um, there are two connectors you have to remove and once you remove it, you're going to see more parts and you're going to have more flexibility actually working it. But uh, that's about it. And so what do you do when you get this? Let me push this back. And it actually, one of the things I was concerned about was what if I open it and then I can't close it. The thing is, they're not using super glue to connect this. It's actually, there's a method to madness and you can just have, you just have to push a little bit and it goes back in and it's like, a, it's like I use it before I opened it. It's 
pretty much solid. I, I did damage this area here because I was a little bit careless and I was using the metal. But uh, but once you have that covered, that should be no problem. Now as far as parts, I would recommend you go to eBay and search to see if there are any parts you can pick up. That's all. That's all I can tell you. Let's say you wanna pick up. Kindle Fire battery. You can get it for twenty six dollars. Obviously, there's gonna be a hit and miss, and I have to tell you, you can't always fix these issues. So, it's a nice project to do, and in your spare time, you wanna get a better understanding for tablets and how Kindle works. This is something we do, our bloggers in our community. We all have to open these. We have spare ones just to see what's inside and get a better understanding. Because when you're covering something like ebook, ebook e readers, if you don't know exactly what's going on, uh, you, you are more likely to make dumb mistakes. And, and even opening this was actually a dumb mistake with, with the metal one. But I just wanted to show the, demonstrate how it works. But there are plenty of guides available online that you can pick up and they show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to open a Kindle Fire or an iPad. I wouldn't recommend opening an iPad, but you know, that's, that's your choice. So yeah, eBay is a good bet as long as you check the reputation of the seller and as long as you get a part that can actually be replaced and without damaging the Kindle or just playing around with too many parts. The battery seems to be the easiest part. I'm just not sure in this case the battery is the issue because even if the battery is that I'm not, I, I just it seems the power is not really getting there to the to the board and it's not something's not really happening so uh, my concern is that either something's dead a part or not the battery but maybe a, a chip something happened or maybe it's the connector and i'm not sure how easy it is to fix the connector so so that's about it i am interested to know if you have had issues with your kindle fire I am interested to know what issues you've experienced and how you've gone about fixing it and maybe if you've repaired something and have a video of it, obviously I'd like to see it as well. Uh, for more information, you can go to our channel on, on YouTube and also to bestebookreaders.com where we provide coverage for e-reader news every day. Thanks again for watching guys.